There are symbol insertion options which are extremely helpful when you're trying to place objects on a three-dimensional surface. I'm going to be talking about some of these options and a few related topics in this video. The symbol insertion method you're most familiar with is simply placing an object in plan view. In this case, you're not concerned with the three-dimensional position of that object. You're only concerned with the x and y coordinate of it. In this drawing, I've got a three-dimensional site model that I created using Datacad's drop mesh feature. And to the right, I've got the symbol browser open with a collection of three-dimensional trees that I'd like to place on this site. So let's take a quick look at a three-dimensional view of this site. I'm going to use Datacad's projection pad and select the isometric view icon. This is going to bring up an isometric view of the model. So it's here that I can see the various changes in the topography of the site. And it's obvious that it would be very difficult uh, while in plan view to place a symbol and know at what elevation I should insert that symbol so it falls directly on the topography. So let's go back into plan view and use the default method of inserting a symbol onto the site. I'll select one of the trees from the symbol browser and then when I bring my cursor out into the screen, I can see that the symbol is attached to it. In the left-hand menus, I see the Insert Symbol options. And one option in particular is Z Offset. I'll select that, and we can see that there are a number of sub-options. But the default setting is Z Base. And what this means is that when you place your symbol in a plan view, the Z height of that symbol is going to be set at the current Z base. So I'll right click once to go back to the insert symbol menu and then I'm going to look down here at the bottom of my screen and see that Z base is set to zero. So when I left click to place this tree onto the site the insertion point for that symbol is going to be at Z base of zero. So I'll place several of these and each one of these is going to be placed at the same uh, Z base. So I'll right click to finish that operation and then go back into an isometric view and we can see that the trees look like they're floating above the landscape. I'm going to switch to a front elevation view and we can see that all of the trees fall at the same elevation but none of them <laughs> are at the elevation that we want. So let's look at a Z offset option that will place these trees directly onto the polygons that make up this site go back into plan view and then I'll use the comma key to get rid of the trees that I had placed already and I'll use the escape key to refresh the screen now I'll select that same tree and in the insert symbol options I'll select Z offset and I'm going to enable on polygon this option allows you to place a symbol and have Datacad automatically look for a polygon that's below the symbol and place it directly on the surface now you see that Z base is still toggled on, and that's because if there's no polygon found, then the symbol is going to be placed at Z base. So I'm going to right click to back up to the uh, insert symbol menu. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to left click above this site, right click to finish the operation, and then go back into an isometric view. And sure enough, it looks like the trees are sitting directly on the site. Let's take a look at uh, a front elevation view. And again, it looks like they're following the, the uh, topography very nicely. And finally, let's bring up the object viewer and then take a look at the trees. So certainly, that's a very effective way of placing a symbol directly onto a uh, three-dimensional model. But let's look at a few more options. There's another insert symbol option that will allow me to place the tree while I'm in a three-dimensional view. So let's go back to isometric and then again I'll use the comma key to delete the trees, press the escape key to refresh, and select my tree. Now when I'm in an isometric view and I've got a handle on a symbol, 
there's an option here that appears called current view. Now we can see that the orientation of the tree is relative to the screen. Now I could actually place the symbol here and have it fall on the construction plane, but that's not going to be very useful. So I'm going to enable current view. And now when I bring the tree out on the screen, we see that the symbol is oriented in the same view as the model. And then we also get a three-dimensional cursor, which shows us the X, Y, and Z coordinates. Now I can bring the tree out onto the site and use my object snapping criteria to snap the insertion point of the symbol directly onto the terrain. So I'm going to scroll in to get a little bit closer here so we can see the uh, object snapping points. So I'm getting midpoints and intersections. So I'll go ahead and use the uh, end key or the middle key on my or middle button on my mouse, and then object snap the tree directly to the surface. So let's back out and take a look at that in a front elevation view, and we can see that the trees follow along the uh, contours nicely. But I'd like to show you a few more tricks that you can use while placing these symbols. Well, we probably don't want to place the same exact tree multiple times in the same exact orientation on this site because it's not going to look very natural. So let's look at another way that we can place the symbols in a more random fashion. Let's go back to isometric view and then get rid of the trees and select our first symbol. Well, we get the insert symbol options and one of the options that's not enabled by default is dynamic rotate. So if I turn on dynamic rotate, that's going to allow me to snap the symbol to the uh, surface and then adjust its orientation after I place it. So my next left click will determine the orientation of the tree. I'm going to get in a little bit closer and then we can see that uh, maybe a little bit better. So I'll object snap to the uh, polygon and then I'll rotate my cursor around the tree which then adjusts its orientation. So every time I place a tree I can rotate it a little bit so it's different from the previous. Now I could continue this process selecting symbols from the symbol browser one at a time and placing them on the site. But there's a handy way to actually queue up multiple symbols so that I can do that in one operation and then place them as I need to. So I'm going to pick the first symbol and we can see it uh, on my cursor. But instead of placing it on the site, I'm actually going to pick another symbol. So I'll select the next symbol and we can see that's on my cursor. And I'm going to do the same for each symbol in the symbol browser. Now what's happening is Datacad is actually queuing up every one of these symbols that I've selected. So now in a last in first out uh, order I can place each one of these trees on the site. So I'll object snap the first tree here, set its orientation, then I'll right click and that'll bring me to the next tree that I had selected. And I'll just repeat the process. And This is going to allow me to place different trees in various parts of the site. So now I'm back to the first symbol that I picked, and I've got one of each tree placed on the site. So let's take a look at that in the object viewer. And we can see through a combination of using multiple symbols in multiple orientations, uh, we get a nice random feel to the trees on our uh, site model here. 
So I hope that gives you some insight into placing your three-dimensional objects onto a three-dimensional site using the various uh, symbol insert options. Uh, and always, thank you for listening, and if you have any uh, comments or questions, please leave them in the space provided below this video.